ladies. Welcome to my channel. My name is Heather Anderson of So Heather. So right now with the um, you know, coronavirus being rampant out there, I just wanted to take this moment to wish you and your families lots of love and lots of safety. And, you know, I just, I feel like I'm really trying to give into faith and not fear during this time and really take advantage of this time trying to stay at home as much as I can to protect myself as well as others. So the one thing that I've actually been doing a lot since I've been staying at home is cleaning out my closet. I did that the other day as well as organize my closet. So today I'm going to be sharing 12 tips to organize your closet. I hope that you ladies will find these things helpful. Please let me know in your comments below what tip was your favorite. And also, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel, if you haven't already, I would truly appreciate it. Okay, let's get started. Tip number one to organize your closet is to swap out all of your hangers. Like, I don't know if you have wire hangers, if you have black plastic hangers, but my favorite hangers are these amazing hangers by Joy. They're super soft. They have uh, rounded edges, so they're not going to snag or pull your clothes. Um, they do come in white and black, so I would suggest either going with all of the same color for your entire closet, or you could do white hangers for your white and light color clothing and black hangers for your dark color clothing, which that's what I opted to do. But there's a couple reasons I love these. Number one, your clothes will not slip when you hang your clothes up on these hangers because they're basically like felt. And so the clothes won't slip off, which is like so annoying when that happens. So I love that for this reason. Another reason is these are just very thin. And so you actually create more room in your closet when you use all of the same hanger, especially if it's a thin one like this, versus like one thin, ha thin hanger and then one like bulky plastic hanger and whatever, like it just creates lots of, you know, chaos and extra room that uh, takes up extra room. And if you have all of the same hangers, especially these amazing ones by Joy, you're going to create more space in your closet. So highly recommend these, not to mention it's gonna look a lot nicer and more uniform if you have the same hangers. And I will link all of these items that I'm talking about down below, ladies, in my description box. Okay, number two is face all of your clothes the same way. So if you're right-handed, you wanna face all your clothes to the left. And if you're left-handed, you wanna face all your clothes to the right. So as you can see, this is a you know just a simple t-shirt hung up on the Joy hanger. And when I hang it up in my closet, I actually hung it up wrong. I wanna face it to the left since I'm right-handed so that when I pull the item out of the closet, it's facing towards me and I can look at it and decide, okay, yes, I wanna wear this today, this would look good with my outfit, and then I just put it back. So the hooks need to be facing the same way, the item of clothing needs to be facing the same way. So again, if you're right-handed, it needs to be facing the left, and vice versa, if you're left-handed, it needs to be facing the right. So I love that tip, hopefully that will help y'all out. It's definitely helped me out when I've gone into my closet and, and you know looking for things to wear and trying to put together outfits. Okay, number three is get rid of all your seasonal clothes. It, not really get rid of them as in give them away, but just either put them up high in your closets. I know a lot of ladies have closets where you have the bars way up high for out of season clothes and that's amazing. So every season, if you have that, I would put all of your out of season clothes up at the top. If you do not have that, I do not have that. I'll give y'all a little tour of my closet right now, you can see, but I have higher bars, but they're not like high enough to be considered out of season bars. So I put all of my out of season clothes in a different closet, a closet just down the hall. If you don't have a different closet to put your out of season clothes in, then I would suggest putting your out of season clothes in the back of your closet. So you can just kind of decide which option you would like to take depending on your particular closet, but definitely get rid of the out of season clothes or you know get them in the back of your closet or in another closet or up high because that really creates more room and more organization for your current seasonal clothes that you're actually wearing. Okay, number four is to divide your clothes up by type and divide them up by color. So first by type, so I put all my white t-shirts in the same little row, all my black jackets 
as you can see in the same little row, pink jackets, and then it goes to off-white and neutral jackets. I have a section for green jackets because yes, y'all know I own a ton of jackets because that's literally all I wear. Um, and this amazing pink satin jacket by Veronica Beard is on sale, which is why I wore it for y'all and I'll link it down below as well. I also have, you know, long sleeve tops, short sleeve tops, long dresses. I have a section in my closet that's long for like long dresses, long jumpsuits. And I, you know, put those items there, but I also, after I organize them by style, I organize them by color. That way, when you're getting dressed in the morning and you're like, oh, this outfit would look really good with a blue top under it, then you know you just go to your blue top section and it's easy to find. You're gonna save yourself time. You're gonna make your life easier. So definitely divide your clothes by style as well as color. Okay, number five is change the light bulbs in your closet to cool tone light bulbs. Sometimes, you know, there are basically there are two types of light bulbs, warm tone or cool tone. I got the cool tone ones. I'm sure you can get them anywhere, but I think my husband got them at Home Depot. I'm sure Walmart has them. I'm sure Target has them. I will link them down below in the description box. But the reason is that you want cool tones is because that's more um, representative of what the real light is when you step outside. So you're just gonna get a feel for what your outfit's gonna be, you know, what it's really gonna look like when you go outside. Plus it's just easier on your eyes. And um, anyway, I just highly recommend cool tone lighting in your closet. Okay, number six is utilize drawer organizers. So I love these from the container store. I have them in my bra and underwear drawer and it just makes it so much easier because I felt like before I had the drawer organizer, my bras and underwear were just all like thrown in there and mixed up and I would have to like dig and find exactly what I wanted to wear. So drawer organizers truly make the biggest difference. I have all my you know underwear here, my bras here, my socks here and it's just so easy and just so nice. Again, it's gonna save you time. It's going to save, you know, just all that like headache of, oh my gosh, I can't find something. You're gonna like decrease your stress when you get up in the morning if, you, if you're more organized, I promise. So love these drawer organizers from Container Store. Also, you could use this. Um, they also have jewelry drawer organizers. I personally don't have any of these, but it, because I have a, jewel, a big jewelry box in my closet that I got from Pier 1, when I moved into this house two years ago because there was a perfect spot in my closet for it. If you don't have a spot for a big jewelry box like this, and I would suggest getting jewelry drawer organizers. I'll show you guys a photo of what I mean and I'll link them below in my description box. But this will just be nice to have all your jewelry. You pull out the drawer, it's all in one place. You can really see what, you know, all of your options and just kind of put on what you think is gonna look best with your outfit that day. Of course, before this, you wanna get rid of all the jewelry that you're not wearing. Like I just gave a bunch of my jewelry to Linda's closet because I was not wearing it and I was like, you know what? It wasn't like nice real jewelry. If it were nice real jewelry, I would sell it on the real real. I'll link that down below as well. But this was just like cheap costume jewelry that I've literally had for probably like 10 or 15 years and I wasn't wearing it anymore. So that makes a big difference too. Clean out your closet before you organize it. I just did a video on the things that you should keep in your closet and the things that you should not keep in your closet. So if you're not sure what to throw away and what to keep, you can look at that video and I'll link it below as well. But the drawer organizers and jewelry organizers make a huge, huge difference. So highly recommend those. Okay, tip number seven. This is another tip that's gonna save you ladies a lot of time. And that is dedicate a certain spot in your closet for your outfit of the day. So maybe the day before or the night before, you know, if I have time, I always try to do this, like plan out what I'm gonna wear the next day and put it, I actually have a wardrobe uh, um, rack that I just pull out and then I hang my clothes for the next day, the out, exact outfit on that little rack. If you don't have that, that's okay. Just dedicate a certain spot in your closet for your outfit of the day. It's gonna save you time in the morning. You've already got it all right there. It's gonna be super easy for you to grab everything. So I think this is just such a good idea. It's gonna save y'all a lot of time and I highly recommend doing that. Okay, number eight is utilize your extra wall space. So just kind of look around your closet. Wherever you have extra wall space, I would suggest hanging up hooks. 
So I got these hooks at Container Store. I had extra wall space uh, next to my door, as you can see, so I hung up all of my belts on these hooks. This is amazing. And then on the back of my door, I hung up another set of hooks and I hang up all my robes. And then my husband will hang up some of his vests and belts too, because yes, he does share this closet with me, but he was like, I only need like one little section. And I said, are you sure? And he said, yes, and I wasn't gonna argue. So um, I'm thankful that I get to take up most of our closet and I'm very grateful for our closet. I was one of the big sellers of, of us moving into this house two years ago. But anyway, utilize hooks if you have extra wall space. They make a huge difference. They're gonna just help you be organized. And again, I will link the hooks that I have down below in my description box. Another thing you can put on hooks are long necklaces. So if you didn't wanna put your... Um, necklaces in your drawer, in your jewelry drawer organizer, I would suggest hanging up necklaces on these hooks, especially the long necklaces so that they don't get tangled up. So my um, jewelry box actually has a door that opens and then that's where I hang all of my long necklaces. But again, if you don't have one of these jewelry boxes, then you could just buy some hooks, hang them on the wall and hang up your necklaces on them. All right, number nine to be more organized in your closet is get a full length mirror. So I have not always had a full length mirror in my closet. Sometimes it's in my bedroom, but I will say it is more convenient now that I have one in my closet. It's actually on the back of my door. So I'm, I'm sure, you know, maybe if you don't have extra wall space for the full length mirror in your closet, you could certainly hang it on the back of your door in your closet. That way you're just gonna save yourself time because you'll be able to put your outfit on and then you'll be able to look in the full length mirror at your beautiful, amazing self and say, yes, I love this outfit or no, I don't like this jacket with these jeans, I'm gonna go change. And I'm already in my closet. So it's not like I need to, you know, go all the way back upstairs or go all the way, you know, out, whatever. You're just gonna save yourself time if you have a full length mirror in your closet. And again, if you don't have room on the walls, you can just hang it up on the back of the door. Okay, number 10, and I love this one. I think this is a great tip. This is get two baskets. You can get really pretty baskets, like really cool um, lacquer, white lacquer baskets. That's actually what I'm looking for. I haven't found them yet. If I do, I'll link them below. But right now I just have this um, tan basket. And what I keep in it, number your, why I said you need two baskets. One basket is gonna have your closet essentials in it that you need. That way when something goes wrong, like you get a shirt out and you're like, oh, it has lint all over it. Well, I have my little basket here and it has my lint brush in it. So I will get all of those little you know, uh, fuzzies off of my sweater and it's right here and it's super easy. The other closet essential that I keep in my basket are scissors because if you have something new, you need to cut the tag off, well the scissors are right here or maybe you have a little snag and you need to cut off the little snag on your shirt or your jacket or whatever, you have your little scissors right here in your trusty little basket. And then also some other things I keep in here are double-sided tape in case you, you know, if you've never used double-sided tape, it truly is amazing if you want the blazer to lay, you know, down on your body or if you have a really low cut dress on and you don't want to worry about it coming open, you can put double-sided tape there. So I keep double-sided tape in my basket as well. Okay, the second basket that you need is one for your handbag essentials, because if you're like me, I love to change handbags. So I probably change handbags every other day. Sometimes I want a black one, sometimes I want gray, sometimes I want white. So I have a basket in my closet right next to my closet essential basket with my handbag essentials so that I don't have to run around and gather all my things up when I want to change handbags. It makes it super fast and super efficient. So basically I just, you know, my wallet, my car keys, my powder, and my lipstick. What else does the girl need, honestly? So those two baskets in your closet with the handbag essentials and the closet essentials will make a huge difference, ladies. I promise it'll save you time and you will love it. Okay, number 11 is keep a perfume tray in your closet for the last minute touches. So after you're all dressed and you're looking beautiful, the last thing I always do before I leave the house is spray some perfume. And I love having my perfume tray in my closet uh, because it's just easily accessible. Right, you know, right after I'm dressed, I've looked in my full length mirror, I just like spray my perfume on and I'm good to go. I even love to have this, I, ha I just got this little white 
um, marble jewelry um, holder. It's like for little rings or maybe one or two necklaces. These are the things that I wear every day and I put those in this little white box so that I, it's easily accessible. You know, it's next to the perfume. So another last minute touch I do after I get dressed is put on my jewelry. So all my jewelry is right here as well. So I love that and I will link I think I can find this little white marble box for you guys. I actually got it at CB2. It's from the Jennifer Fisher collection. So I think it's beautiful and I love it. Um, on top of this mirrored box, which I, which I will also link one similar for you ladies because it's not like a traditional perfume tray, but I think it's so pretty because it lifts the bottles up and I think it just makes them look really beautiful. All right, number 12, the last step to an organized closet is getting a step ladder if you need it. If your closet is one of the ones that has higher bars like mine or even, even higher bars for the out of season clothes, you certainly need a step ladder or some of the shelves at the top of your closet, you need a step ladder. And I love keeping one in my closet so that I don't have to go down to the garage or whatever to get the step ladder. So I got this step ladder at, um, container store. It's very, uh, it's pretty small for a step ladder. It folds up very nicely and I just stick it right in the corner next to my jewelry box. And then when I need a hat or a handbag or a pair of shoes that's way up high, I just get my little step ladder out and this one opens up really easily. It closes really easily and it's very light. So I love having this in my closet so that I can reach all the high up things. Another item that you need when, uh, if you have some higher shelving or higher bars, is a reaching pole. I also got this reaching pole at a uh, container store, and I also keep this in my closet. I just hang it on one of my hooks that I was talking about earlier, along with all of my belts. So I love this reaching pole because if I don't want to get out the step ladder, a lot of times I can just grab this reaching pole, you know, stick it up there, grab the purse, you know, push it down or you know push the hat down or whatever it is but this reaching pole has made my life so much easier and again if all of these things are in your closet you don't have to leave your closet to do any of these things it's just going to make your life easier you're going to be more organized and you're going to save yourself time so that were that those were my 12 tips to a more organized closet i hope you ladies enjoyed this video again if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do so down below by clicking that little subscribe button i do publish two new videos every single week for more style information, you can head over to SoHeather.com and on Instagram, I'm SoHeatherBlog. So you guys have a beautiful day and until next time, I will see you soon. Bye-bye.